either as far as I want my glasses, so I'm talking to you uh, dreary eyed and late at night and um, steps one, two, and three first. Uh, step one, uh, sorry, get up the narcotics and others. It's almost the same thing. We just change one word, addiction, and and we all have those, so maybe we can you know everybody relates to it. Okay? So it's like alright, here it is. Okay, uh, yeah. Well, who's an addict, boy? Okay. So step one is we admitted that we we're powerless over our addiction, that our lives have become manageable. If you're doing the, uh, if you, well, let's see, powerless over addiction, that you can't, if you, you want to stop drinking, and you said, today I'm not going to drink. And then Bob and Laura come over and want to go to the, to the near Bob Bar and talk to things at school. And you're like, uh, okay, uh, tomorrow I'll start it. But, you know, you know, you know how to quit. I quit a thousand times, you know, that kind of thing. But when it comes to the point where you just can't stop and you need, you need uh, that some other type of help uh, to, to uh, get over this one part here. And so it's just a simple, you know, if, if I was a sponsor, see, I get through this part easy to say, are you, you are, are you willing to go to any lengths to um, not take a drink? Oh, I'm sure. Sure, Mr. G. I won't do that. Well, that's all I can do. To say, hey, that's the first step. That's got to be the first step. You got to not want to smoke it or do it, uh, shoot it, paralyze it, or you should drink it. And, yeah. You want to stop, you know, you can probably, it depends on why you stop, to you know, it, sometimes it's a, it's a bender a couple of nights and, and after a while you just say, ah, uh, no, I can still do it, or is it really, it's been going on for a while and you've been really thinking about it and you, you took a chance. Um, so, anyways, that's step one. Step two is we came to believe that our power greater ourselves could restore us to sanity. Okay, it's saying that we just figured out that we we're uh, not only alcoholics, but also insane. <laughs> and what we've been doing is insane. It's like these, these baby showers or these, uh, <laughs> these little those things men do. That, you know, I don't know these weird things. I don't know. It's not just that, it's just that, um, um, we, can, we went off the beam, we're off the beam, and I just, you know, people don't understand what's going on, it's like, I can't hear you, what are you saying, I don't know, um, uh, I don't know, can they just make it through mom's shooting dinner for one day, and, and not alert everybody, oh shit, she's fucked up, no, oh shit, she's at it again, what are we gonna do? You know, you just do that. Just don't go to jail. See the tip off so going to jail and that's really insane. Standing over in jail, that's insane. There should be no reason anybody should be in jail. There shouldn't be cops out there to put you in jail, but it's well if it's there it has to go. But we have to also believe but this is easy. Um it's not saying that, hey, you gotta do something here. I'm just saying, do you, you think there's a power greater than yourself that can control you to stand? Even like, um, you know, a computer program, or maybe, uh, uh, maybe a plan, maybe God, any kind of God, you know, the chair could be a God, or can, you know, it's just safe to say that it's the chair is doing better job than you and you like than you are. But, um, just so do you agree that there might be something that's you need help. That's probably what I'm saying. Saying it the most. You need help. So say two, shape chapter two, I need help. And you come to chapter three, then we then it gets a little dicey. Then we're starting to think, oh wait, what's going on here? I haven't I will lose about seventy about twenty five percent of my sponsors here. Step three, we made the decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. Um, 
that's a little different. Um, that means we we're gonna we're gonna say, hey, yeah, there is there is this uh, God here that's working our lives. But what happened to it? Where is it? God disappeared. God disappeared. Where did God disappear? I said, hold up, wait before you tell him that one. Let me reappear. And, okay, we made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of a God as we understood Him. Which means that um, this, this is where we say, okay, we thought about it. Uh, like, we thought it, it sounded good the first second, second time that there's something out there that could help us um, wherever it comes from. You know, dogs, cats, maybe, I don't know. This little cat, you know, cat, little, little cat over there? He's over there. He's taking his little nappy. Can you see him? I don't know if you can see him in there. He's right in there somewhere. Right there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And then it comes, you know, cannibally, but it says, you know, life's over, care of God as we understood him. It's like, we're not going to, you know, with, you know, have to Buddha, or uh, Jesus Christ, or, or uh, Torah, or whatever, uh, you know, Allah, and friends, or group, or certain type of group, yeah, sure, why not go to them, tell them they could probably help you, go in there and see what they're doing, you can check out a church or something, just to see, you'll find out that it's all related to people sinning and they want to be cleansed of their sins and uh, uh, just be free to have that fresh freshness about them again serenity serenity I need serenity you know so um, that's what step three is uh, do we really like go in there and see check check the spirituality it's religious of this kind of religious because you just haven't gotten here at church maybe and then, then there's the spirituality part that says uh, you know you work on different theological questions uh, that about yourself are you selfish self-centered why am I like that who uh, who who am, am I in charge? Or who's in charge here? Hmm. Um, how can I not take a drink? That's the final thing. But uh, those are three things. And the third one, if you say yes, okay, then we can move to four. It starts getting dicey. Because then you got to have your belief in your higher power uh, for number four to really understand it. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Because I'm on a roll now. Everybody likes me and wants to stay my sponsor. And we'll see them tomorrow. Two days from now. Whatever. Call them up. Bring them over. See what happens. Write down a piece of paper. Or list of people that hate. And then they realize the dreaded secret. Okay. But it's fun.